What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills bringing you another division video and today's video is going to be talking about the vendor reset that just happened Friday, February 16th, 2018. So we had a lot of good items that popped up in this vendor reset. So I'm going to leave timestamps for you as always in the description. If you guys want to watch the whole video, that's up to you. Thank you guys for all the support as always. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. If you guys are new to my channel, this is the first time you're watching a video, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or if I missed any items, use that comment section down below. So let's get right into the video. The first place we're going to be headed to is a special equipment vendor. The special equipment vendor is going to have two items for us. The first item is a tactical pack. It's a specialized backpack that has an armor roll of 1267. It's rolled firearms. It has critical hit damage and ammo capacity. Now if you watch my dead eye build video, I run a specialized backpack just like this. It already has a max out roll of 9% critical hit damage. It has ammo capacity and then you can just max out the firearm roll at the recalibration station. So if you want to run a dead eye build, if you want to run a dead eye build with five piece dead eye and a specialized backpack i would recommend you picking up the specialized backpack it's not going to get any better than this it's going to cost you 832 phoenix credits the next item we're going to be looking at are these firearm mods with one percent critical hit chance now 250 is kind of low you always want to be around 260 and above but if you don't have firearm mods with one percent critical hit chance i would recommend you picking this one up the next item is going to be located at the advanced weapon vendor this item is a loud vent break if you don't have one like this i would recommend picking it up it has 17 percent critical hit damage, it has 2.5 critical hit chance, and it has 5.5 headshot damage. Now this is a really good loud vent break to pick up. You can run it on all your SMGs and all your assault rifles. So if it's the house, the bullfrog, the lightweight M4, your LVOA, your MP5, your Navy MP5, it even fits on your M700 carbon. I have one that has 18% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, and 5.5 headshot damage. So it's still not the best roll, but it's a pretty good one. For only 174,000 division credits, I would recommend picking this up. The next item is going to be an appearance item and it's located at the appearance vendor right here in the back. This appearance vendor is going to have this really nice camel skin for your weapon. I don't even have it so I'm going to pick it up right now. It's 18,000 division credits so I would recommend you picking this up. The next item is going to be located at Camp Clinton so we're going to fast travel there. This item is located at the special equipment vendor and the item we're going to be talking about is this 4% sticky bomb damage. This is the max sticky bomb damage you can get so if you want to build a nice tactician sticky bomb build I would recommend you picking up four of these and adding them to your tactician build. It's only going to cost you 192 phoenix credit each one so pick up four of these it's 4% sticky bomb damage I really recommend it it's what I run on my tactician build. The next item we're going to be looking at is this extended magazine. It has 111% magazine size. It has 2.5 critical hit chance and has a rate of fire of 4.8. Now it's not the best extended magazine because you can have a critical hit chance of 3% on these and then you can get up to 120% magazine size and then your rate of fire can go up to around 5.6 rate of fire. So if you don't have one of these, I would recommend picking this up. If you already have one that has 3% critical hit chance and a higher rate of fire, then don't even worry about this one. But this is for you new players who don't have this and you you want to stack critical hit chance on your assault rifles, your SMGs for PvP and even PvE. The next item is going to be located at the safe house Autumn's Hope. The item we're going to be looking at is going to be located at this gear vendor. It's a firearm mod with 252 with 1% critical hit chance. Now this is going to cost you 168,000. So if you don't have Phoenix credits to get the other one that was 250, I would recommend you picking up this one. It's a higher firearm mode for 252 and then it has 1% critical hit chance, which is the max critical hit chance you can get on these mods. Now it's not the best roll just like the other one, but this one is 252 and it's a little bit closer to 260 plus. I always say if you can get firearm mods with 260 plus, those are the ones you want to grab but if you don't even have one I would recommend picking up five of these and using these on a lot of your builds because stacking critical hit chance is key in 1.8 for putting out as much damage as possible. The next two items are going to be located at the cavern so we're going to fast travel there. These two items are going to be located at this gear vendor. The first item is going to be this rapid chest piece. I know a lot of people don't use rapid chest piece anymore but if you want a good chest piece that you can run with other builds when you don't have a six piece this is actually a really good chest piece. What rapid does is it decreases the cooldown for healing skills by 15%. This one has a max out road of 9% skill haste and it has ammo capacity. My recommendation would be remove the enemy armor damage, put health on there, and then the firearm roll is pretty good at 1259 and then the armor roll is pretty good at 1986. If you don't have a good chess piece and you're looking at trying something new, a rapid chess piece is a chess piece that I use on a lot of my builds when I don't run a six piece just because I like that decreased cooldown for healing skills by 15%. It's going to cost you 1.1 million division credits. So if you don't have one and you're looking at testing this out, this would probably be the best 
rapid chest piece you're going to get in a while. The next item that I would recommend picking up for all you healers are these first aid ally heals. It's 6% which is the max and if you're going to run some type of healing build this might be a really good performance mod for you to pick up. So if you want to remove the self heals when you're not a healer and then if you are going to be a healer you can put these first aid ally heals. Definitely pick them up if you plan on being any type of healer. It's 168,000 division credits. The next item is going to be located at the safe house the meat locker. So we're going to fast travel there. Now this is one of my must buys of the week. It's located at the weapons vendor and this is M700 carbon. This is 169% headshot damage with my firearms of just 7,800. The damage on this is 135,000. It has deadly, it has prepared, and then it has elevated. So if you want to keep elevated on there, you can. You can also roll elevated off and put competent, and then you have yourself a really nice dead eye build sniper rifle. You can also run a lot of these talents on your other build. So I really recommend you guys picking this up. You guys know how much of a fan I am of the dead eye build. I'm gonna pick up one of these just to have an extra one because I wanted one that had elevated, prepared, and deadly on it. What I would do if I was you, I would pick up two of these, roll one to competent, leave prepared, leave deadly, and then leave one with elevated, prepared, and deadly, and you can run it on your dead eye build. The next item is going to be located at Camp Hudson, so we're going to fast travel there. So the item we're going to be looking at is going to be located at this weapons vendor here at Camp Hudson. It's a Super 90. It has trained, unforgiving, and destructive. Now this would be a great shotgun for PvE if you left destructive on, you left unforgiving, and put responsive. And then you have yourself a really nice Super 90 for PvE. Base damage is 123,000 with my firearms of 7,800. It has a stagger rate of 337%. The next item is going to be located at the safe house at the grind house. The item we're going to be looking at is located at this weapons vendor. This is an extended magazine that I recommend you guys picking up. This is a must buy. If you don't have one of these, I would recommend having one of these because it has 120% magazine size, 3% critical hit chance, and 4% critical hit damage. This magazine is a great magazine to run on your big Alejandro, all of your LMGs, and even your sniper rifles when you're not running the Deadeye. But this magazine is definitely a must pick up if you like running Lone Star, you want to run any kind of LMG, I would pick this up. It's only going to cost you 168,000 division credits. The next item is going to be located in the dark zone, so this is going to cost you dark zone credits. So we're going to head over to West 39th Street Checkpoint. The item is going to be located at this dark zone vendor, and it's this relentless backpack. Now if you guys like running skill builds, want to run a five piece, and then run a different type of backpack this might be a backpack you can run what relentless does is it gives you five percent of the damage dealt by your skills is returned as healing so you never really have to heal this already has electronics on it it has skill power and has bleed resistance now the electronics rolls a little bit low but what you can do is recalibrate this to have a higher electronics roll and then just leave the skill power which isn't too bad i personally like running this backpack with my tactician build if i'm not going to run an inventive backpack and even my firecrest build that i can run a five piece firecrest with a relentless backpack so what i recommend you guys doing is pick one up, try it out, see how you like it. It's going to cost you 277,000 Dark Zone credits. The next items are going to be located at Park Ave in the Dark Zone checkpoint. So we're going to head over there now. So the three items we're going to be looking at are going to be located at this Dark Zone weapons vendor. The first item is this MP5 ST. It's going to cost you 416,000 Dark Zone credits, but this is a must buy if you have Dark Zone credits. It has 19% critical hit chance. Base damage on this is 19.2k. It has deadly self-preserved and unforgiving. Now you can leave unforgiving on there, you can leave deadly on there, you can roll responsive, you have yourself a really good MP5. You could also take off unforgiving, put responsive, leave self-preserved, and leave deadly and you have yourself an amazing VP gun. So there's so many ways you can run this. I'm probably gonna pick this one up because I wanna have one that has responsive, self-preserved and deadly and I don't have one like that. Pick this one up, it's a must buy of the week, especially if you don't have yourself an SMG like the house and I have a feeling in the future they may buff this one up. The next item is a military M60. If you guys are into these LMGs, this isn't a bad LMG to get. It has 21% damage to targets out of cover, base damage is 20,000, it has destructive, ferocious and swift so if you're looking for a good pve lmg i would pick this one up the next item is going to be located at east 53rd street so we're going to fast travel there the item we're looking for is going to be located at this dark zone vendor the item we're going to be looking at these electronics mods with 255 electronics roll with one percent critical hit chance now if you've been looking for electronics mod with critical hit chance this is probably one that you want to pick up it has the max roll one percent critical hit chance and then it has a pretty decent 255 roll of electronics so if you've been looking for one of these, pick it up. It's going to cost you 21,000 Dark Zone credits. The last item of the day is going to be located at the checkpoint at East 46th Street. So we're fast traveling there. The item we're going to be looking at is this Super 90. It's going to be a pretty good PvP shotgun. 
It has dominant, swift, and unforgiving. I would roll off dominant, put responsive, and then you have yourself a really good PVP shotgun. Now it is gonna cost you 416,000. So if you need to buy some of the other items I showed you earlier, buy those. If you have some extra DZ credits like I do, then this is probably a good Super 90 for you to pick up. And you can always fully optimize it at the base of operation. The last item of the day is this refresh mask. It has a 1258 stamina roll. It has pretty decent armor roll of 938. It has a 4% critical hit chance roll which is maxed out and then has minor attribute of 16% disorient resistance. What you could do is change the minor attribute or you could even roll the stamina for firearms. I would pick this up. This is a great piece that you could sub in for some of you guys who only have five pieces of gear sets and you want to run a five piece but you don't have a mask. Hey throw in a refresh mask. All healing is improved by 30% when you're in the last health segment of life and that happens a lot when you're PvP. So if you want to try this mask I would definitely pick it up. It's going to cost you 249,000 DZ credits. That pretty much wraps up this vendor reset. If I missed anything, use the comment section down below. Remember, if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're watching the video, hit that subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. And as always, guys, if you don't see me in Last Stand, if you don't see me in the Dark Zone, if you don't see me in Skirmish, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills is out.